So, George Carlin once said, Think of how stupid the average person is, and then realize half of them are stupider than that. <laughs> What real-life example have you seen that validates this view? Well, Oscar Devine says, I'm a physician, an eye doctor specifically. I will tell you the longer I work, now 15 years, my standard for the average person continues to decline. Oh, it's almost like if the more people you see, the more likely you are to run into idiots. Case in point, thanks to the awful information filtering out there, I had a patient just last week who read that vitamin D helps you resist an infection. Well, he had also read that you can get more vitamin D by getting more sun. So, he wanted to collect as much light as possible with his eyes. As a result, he stared at the sun for a solid 60 seconds and burned holes directly into his retinas, permanently reducing his vision with no chance at future improvement. My lord, I can feel my eyes burning from here. Please don't stare into the sun. Vet Michael says, good one. Okay, so my favorite was a guy who was planning his honeymoon, but he didn't have a lot of money. He was bummed about the cost of air travel. A friend suggested a train ride might be cheaper. He became frustrated after a few days of trying and complained that he couldn't find any trains going to, wait for it, Hawaii. It still didn't sink in because he had seen pictures of trains in Hawaii. He couldn't grasp that they were shipped there. It got even more surreal after that. The dude was probably like, wait, I can get on a train on on a ship? Whoa! No. That voice dude says customers arguing that their tattoo is backwards while their artist tries to explain that no, your tattoo is fine, it just looks backwards because that's how mirrors work. Herman Manley says a girl in one of my classes argued that heart transplants shouldn't be allowed because that's where the feelings are and the person receiving the heart wouldn't be the same person anymore. And did I mention these were college? classes? A friend of mine showered in cold water for a year cause he never thought of turning the other tap to see what it would do. In the bathroom 101, the username checks out, and someone who got deleted replies, that's the dumbest thing I've read in this thread so far. Oh, just you wait cause it's about to get dumber. Stonewall5101 says, I just had a customer yell at me for putting their eggs in a separate bag saying they don't want all those bags in the paper paper ones always rip before putting it in the bag and throwing a pound of flour on top. It was somewhat satisfying seeing their face as we heard the cracks until I realized I'm the one who needed to clean it up. Oh. Also, she complained that we hadn't warned her about the fragility of eggs. Is this the first time this individual has bought eggs? My goodness. And Sublime81 says, At the start of working from home due to COVID, I had a few users submit tickets for connectivity issues. These tickets got through through two lines of support before landing in my queue. Turns out that the corporate Wi-Fi doesn't follow you home and you need home internet in order to connect to the VPN. And the reply from Librarian Down is even sadder. I recently spent 20 minutes on the phone with a board member trying to diagnose why his camera wasn't working for our online meetings. Funny thing, you have to actually have a camera in order for it to work. No way this dude was trying to figure out why a non-existent camera wasn't working. And Geese Infection says, I worked in retail for a few years and it taught me that many people are either incapable or just unwilling to read. I have had people walk up to me to ask me how much something is only for the price tag to be featured prominently on the item. It's $9.99, ma'am. How did you know? It said so on the price tag, ma'am. But the price on the can, though. The price is on the can, though. And now 2112 user, this user is from the future. Watch there be one person who actually thought I was being serious when I said that. I worked with a lady who was remarking on how a friend of hers had lost a bunch of weight. She pondered, I wonder how many Diet Cokes she had to drink to do that. Edit. Same lady was convinced beyond repair that when you sneeze, the air only comes out of your nose. There was no convincing her otherwise. So a double whammy of stupidity here. You can lose weight with zero diet cokes just because it said diet doesn't mean it's good for you. Estrogen, spelled with a Y, says I teach sixth grade. One time a parent came to me after trying to help their child with math homework and asked, 
What number is X worth? It feels like it changes with every problem. Um, yes, that's the point. That's how algebra works. And false alarm everyone says there's a considerable overlap between the intelligence of the smartest bears and the dumbest tourists. Yosemite Park Ranger on why it's hard to design a bear-proof garbage can. A concerning overlap at that. Bob might be cool says every time I put on my glasses so I can see better while looking for my glasses. Avid Coco replies, using the flashlight on your phone to find your phone in the dark. Why is it that our brains just somehow failed to identify a specific object? The craziest thing is you don't even have to be stupid. When farms have trouble producing their crops and you ask someone if it worries them, I don't get my food from a farm, I get it from Walmart. What, do you think that food just randomly spawns into Walmart, and a reply the distance that many people have from where their food comes from is shocking. I know a lot of people, especially in cities, live quite far from farms. It still doesn't excuse knowing such a basic thing though, or rather not knowing. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then why not like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell? Toady says, I'm an insurance claims adjuster. If you truly knew how many stupid drivers you're sharing the road with, you'd never drive again. Edit, I avoid driving whenever possible. I have a car, but I take the bus to and from work. I never drive at night. How many people on the road drive without any kinds of regards for others? I work at a restaurant. We were low on tomatoes for our tomato soup, so one person grabbed potatoes to see if we could use those instead. This person was really like they rhyme, so they must be good enough. But no, we can't use potatoes. And CJF Real says, not necessarily the exact thing you're looking for, but when I was in high school, I once had a friend group come up to me bragging about his PSAT. I recognized immediately that he got a pretty poor score. When I mentioned to him that I didn't think it was a very good score, he confidently proclaimed, but it says I'm smarter than 15% of juniors, and I'm only a sophomore. To which I rebutted, yeah, but imagine the dumbest 15% of people. That's not very good. In grade 10, we had a science test, and the teacher gave one point for putting a date on the paper and one point for your name on the paper. And then there were 98 points for the rest of the test. A guy sitting in front of me got 0.5 out of 100, didn't even write the date, and only wrote his first name. Wow. And someone who got deleted replies, that's friggin' hilarious, reminds me of the time my classmate copied the test answers of my other smarter classmate in second grade. He got caught because he copied the name too. I mean, at least this person was in second grade, the other one was in high school. But, uh, dude copied the name. <laughs> That's hilarious. We do not condone cheating on this channel, but I hope this kid learned to be smarter than that. High school. History. Topic. Titanic. So the iceberg was about the size of, uh, um, yes, Miss D? Don't icebergs fall out of the sky? <laughs> to this day, I picture an iceberg the size of a small island falling from the sky being seen for hundreds of miles away like a friggin' meteor. Ice meteors, I can imagine it now. Molecular Vibrology says people that cut holes in their masks because it's easier to breathe. I have seen Reddit posts a couple years ago of individuals doing just that. And Fly Away Day has two stories to share with us. First, my ex had a student, one who occasionally misspelled his own name, turned in a very well-written essay that just so happened to be a clearly printed off the internet. They include included the URL at the bottom. He gave the kid a zero, but that's not all. The kid's grandmother came into the office completely distraught because she knows her grandson wrote that essay. Her proof? He said he wrote it. When it was shown to her on the internet, she insisted that he must have written it and put it on that website himself. Thank goodness the principal was a good one and let her know she didn't buy that for a minute. Well, you see, my grandson is a top five Wikipedia editor. Nope, not buying it. Also, when I was a teller, I asked a man for ID. He showed me his personalized belt buckle. When I said that wasn't enough, he offered to go get his sister from the car. She could tell me who he was. He he didn't understand why neither of those would work. Who else would wear a belt buckle with my name on it? Why would my sister lie to you? She doesn't want any money. Sorry, my dude, but a custom-made belt buckle is not a valid ID. What was this dude thinking? 
Hockey Boy 05's town was live streaming a holiday parade in case you were not able to make it out in person. This included a live chat feature as well. One mother who lives nearby wrote into the chat that her daughter didn't get outside in time and asked for them to turn around and come back to her street. And I gotta agree with Jade's reply here, that's less dumb and more entitled. Yeah, you can't just turn a parade around for one person, that's ridiculous. ZigGuy77 had someone argue with them because they were sure that the cavemen were before the dinosaurs and that it is impossible that dinosaurs even existed. She considers mammoth and saber tooth to be dinosaurs. Yes, you heard that right. Meanwhile, Breadhead was sitting next to a girl who was notoriously dumb at school. She thought people were being too hard on her until she straight up asked Google who invented water. I know Google can give you answers to things, but this is a little ridiculous. Next thing, she'll ask who invented Earth. And Wolfgang says a lot of people still believe blatant pseudoscientific facts, for instance, the blood being blue inside the body when it's not introduced to the outside air. But I heard it on Facebook, I heard it on TikTok, it must be true. Don't believe everything you see online, people. Actually, don't even believe this video. Wanting Luke says the fact that I'm a retail worker in 2020 and everyone thinks calling me a hero is gonna solve all my crippling financial struggles. A lot of companies were really like, well, calling our workers heroes is a lot cheaper than actually paying them bonuses for working during a pandemic. All they think about is that sweet, sweet bottom line. An unknown says, I have a fraternal male twin, I'm female, and in high school I had a girl ask if we were identical. I said, no, he's a dude. And she said, no, I mean genetically are you identical? And I just stared at her wondering if she skipped all of her science classes to not know the answer. Honestly, wouldn't be the first person mentioned in this thread to skip science classes. Wisdom Lost, username once again checks out, says on the man show they set up a booth on some pier, I think Santa Monica, and we're getting women to sign up to end women's suffrage. Tons of women were signing. Obviously, being the man show, this was a joke on women, but the reality is the amount of people in general who do not know suffrage is the right to vote and not some sort of suffering is far too high. And Sir Duck replies, I feel that this could be put on a ballot complete with social media campaigning and women would lose the right to vote by a large margin. Please don't give anyone ideas. There are a concerning number of politicians out there who would seriously consider doing this. Cranium Blood says, I work with this one guy. He asked me about a daily deadline that had to be met, one that I designed. I told him the deadline time. He then proceeded to argue with me for 15 minutes about how I was wrong and that it was actually an hour before that. I didn't even know what to tell him. At that point, I wouldn't either because you were literally the person who came up with the deadline. Like, what else can you say at that point? And Chippy says, Stupid, I work for a company that has a bonus pay system which is based on survey responses. Even stupider, I got a survey that marked everything a 1 to 2 out of 10, 10 being highest as in I got bombed on the survey. But the survey in question includes an open comment field where the customer's comment stated that the service was fantastic and everything was great. Clearly, this indicates that they simply did the survey upside down, so to speak. As in, they thought ones or twos were the best and tens were the worst. Well, the stupidest part about this, my district manager refused to invalidate the survey response and I didn't get my bonus for the quarter. Sounds like someone who was trying to get away with not paying a bonus. And I notice places that use these kinds of surveys act like an 8 out of 10 means the employee has completely failed at everything. Like, it may as well be a one at that point. And PM me your tits, please. Uh, sure. Says, I just finished tutoring two intro to computer science courses. Lesson one in about defining variables. Naturally, there's people that didn't know how to do that by the final. People learn at different rates. I get that. But how did you not learn lesson one after 15 weeks, 20-ish homework assignments, seven quizzes, and two previous exams? exams. I don't know, I feel like for some people, computer science is just confusing. And now Putrid Repeat says, Girl I know thought 
she was super smart for getting a 90 on an IQ test because it was 90 out of 100, so an A grade. Oh my god, not how IQ work. This must have been one of those BS online IQ tests. Honestly, in another time, I walked past two girls talking in high school valley girl voices and one said it's amazing the Olympics are going on this year. They only happen once every hundred years. The other's response was, OMG, yeah. Every hundred years. Now, why would the Olympics be so infrequent? I feel like my brain is gonna melt and my IQ levels are gonna drop to the levels of these individuals, so I better stop this video right here. So, I'd like to thank all of my channel members, especially Amethyst Phoenix, Cranjus McBiscopal, Dark Garden, Catalan Cormendi, Mike Cock, Hold Up, Nightcrawler, Stormcloud the Wolf, Vicmeister1999, and Zoe Horsham. You can join in the link below, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell, and comment what's on your mind.